Welcome to Airstream. My name is Justin Humphreys. I'm VP of Sales here at Airstream, and we've got a real treat for you today. We're gonna show you how the iconic Airstream travel trailer is made, and it is a labor of love. It's a handcrafted product that's endured 90 plus years of being on America's roads. And for those of you that have visited our factory before, you'll notice it looks a lot different, and that's because it is. This is a brand new factory that we opened in 2020, so many of you haven't had a chance to see it. But one thing you'll notice right away, it is a lot bigger. Our old factory uh, was 230,000 square feet. This is 750,000 square feet, which allowed us to do a lot of things. Not only can we build some more travel trailers, but we also were able to bring in a lot of quality equipment that we weren't able to before, because now we have the floor space to do it. So whether it's CNC routers, lamination machines, stamping presses, uh, you name it, we've added it. And, and it also gives us a platform that we can build on in the future. 1980, when Thor Industries bought us, they consolidated everything into this facility, into this town. So every Airstream in the world today is built here in Ohio. So we have a lot to share with you today from not only the production line, but all the support lines that feed it, all the quality systems that we do, and to help our associates make a good quality, iconic Airstream travel trailer. So, um, so get comfortable and let's go. There's a lot to see. For more than 90 years, Airstream has been known for manufacturing riveted aluminum travel trailers. Our iconic shell begins its life here on the riveting platform, where CNC routers pre-drill rivet holes and precisely cut openings for windows and storage compartments in pre-treated sheets of aluminum. Then teams of two set to work, one inside and one outside, fitting and bucking each rivet by hand. By the end of this process, thousands of rivets hold together a semi-monocoque body that's structurally sound and incredibly aerodynamic. Nearby, our stretch form department starts work on forming the Airstream end caps, stretching sheets of aluminum over curved dies. These machines apply 250 tons of pressure per square inch as they stretch each sheet of aluminum to a perfectly curved shape. Each end cap is made up of five sheets of this stretched aluminum, which are then trimmed and marked and then sent over to the riveting platform for assembly. For years, this process was housed in a separate facility, but with our new production facility, we were able to bring this department under the same roof, making for a much more efficient process that leads to even more quality manufacturing. After the individual pieces are finished in the stretch form department, each of the five panels are assembled on a jig and held together initially with a few rivets and some screws. Once all of the pieces are assembled, the shell is riveted into its final form with Z-bars, aluminum extrusions, and other supports that lend it strength. The shells then meet up with the walls and roof sections on the top of a pre-cut and pre-drilled piece of water-resistant, recyclable composite flooring. The state-of-the-art composite flooring provides much more strength and screw retention than the normal plywood that's standard throughout the industry. It's a real game changer that was made possible in part by our move into this factory. While the shell is being riveted together, our chassis department is hard at work installing all of the components that rest below the floor level. These ladder frame chassis arrive pre-built to specification and come in upside down for easy access to the underside where the team installs holding tanks, shock absorbers, stabilizer jacks, tires, wheels, and the spare tire. Initial wiring, plumbing, and vent lines are installed as well as the Airstream step and electric hitch jack. Then the chassis is flipped right side up for the installation of the aluminum enclosed underbelly as well as flex foil insulation and tank sensors. Finally, a crane lifts the completed shell by the roof assembly and lowers it onto the finished chassis. Team members bolt the shell to the chassis, wrap the aluminum floor extrusions around the bottom edge, and install the black plastic banana guards that bring it all together. At this point, it's starting to look like an Airstream, but there's a lot more work to do on the exterior before the superstructure is complete. Our all-aluminum doors are unlike any other travel trailer door in the market. They shut like a bank vault and feature a window and a welded handcrafted screen door that allows airflow while keeping the bugs out. And because of the curved nature of the Airstream travel trailer shell, the door also has the unique aspect of a curved shape. 
With so many components and so much emphasis on the safety and security provided by these doors, this is one of the most complex, time-consuming processes on the line. The core manufacturing process of the door itself takes almost three hours, with each team member contributing to this complex process that involves riveting, insulating, and equipping each door with a handle and locking mechanism. Like just about everything in our process, our window frames are hand-built in-house. Extruded metal bars are bent, shaped, and cut to precise measurements. Each window frame is painted with a clear coat to ensure a uniform look and long-lasting performance. Before we can install each window into a travel trailer, we first install the hinges, locks, supports, screens, and the tinted window glass. This department builds not only the window frames, but also the storage compartment frames and storage door assemblies as well. After the shell and chassis are mated together, the travel trailers make their way up the line with each station adding new pieces as we work to completely finish the exterior shell. Up above, our associates get to work on the roof components, installing roof vents, skylights, air conditioners, and solar wiring. Inside the shell, we install the furnace and lay residential electrical wiring throughout each unit, with 12-volt and 110-volt wires separated to reduce voltage bleed-through. As we get closer to water check, the final exterior components are installed, like our Zipti awnings, stone guard, and front window guards, and the rear bumper. At this point in the process, the unit is completely enclosed and the aluminum superstructure emerges. Before we send it down the line for insulation, appliances, and furniture, every Airstream undergoes a high pressure water test. Inside our water check bays, wind and water blast each trailer for about 25 to 30 minutes while a team member inside looks for leaks. On the rare occasion that we find a leak, we send it back for repair and then test it again. Some other brands let the customer be the first to test for water leaks. We couldn't stand behind our product unless we did everything in our power to make sure it's 100% ready for its first journey. The big consequence of this method of production is that while other manufacturers build their trailers from the inside out, at Airstream, we build from the outside in. Nothing goes into an Airstream travel trailer until we are sure we have a solid exterior. Once the trailer has successfully passed its water check, insulation and the Airstream QuietStream AC ducts are installed and work on the interior shell begins. We hand cut each piece of insulation which allows for less waste and more coverage. The interior shell is crafted using the same .040 aluminum with a clear coat as we use on the exterior shell. It's pre-cut on a CNC routing machine that provides the precise cuts necessary for each floor plan. On average, each Airstream uses 1,200 square feet of aluminum. Our travel trailer manufacturing plant follows an L-shape, and as the lines make the turn at the bottom of that L, we have one of the most important stations in the process. The electrical lines have been laid throughout the shell, the lights and fans have been wired, the inverter and electrical converters have been installed, and now it's time to check that all the electrical systems are in working order before we begin installing appliances and furniture. At the turn, we hook up each travel trailer to 30 or 50 amp electrical and test every outlet, every light and fan, and all the switches and breakers throughout the interior. Once the Airstream passes this test, it makes the final turn toward the finish line. While many other brands install pre-built furniture and cabinetry, at Airstream, we're proud of the hand-built nature of our products. While all that work is happening on the shell and inside the walls, teams are assembling each individual piece of cabinetry, the wardrobe, the bulkhead walls, dinettes, and furniture that will be installed in the final finish line. Our wood shop is a hive of bustling activity. Sheets of wood are pre-cut with a CNC router and then put through an edge banding machine that applies a soft guard along exposed edges. Each piece is carefully sanded and assembled with pocket screws, dowels we make in-house, and glue. We never use staples. Throughout the RV industry, the interior is built first before the walls and ceilings are installed in the final finish. We do things backwards, putting a lot of time and attention into building the shell first. But consequently, everything that goes inside an Airstream travel trailer must go in through a 26 inch wide main entry door. Everything we make in our wood shop is built in component pieces that fit through that door. 
Inside, they're fitted and measured again and then sanded or trimmed to perfectly fit the curving shape of the interior walls. The added benefit of this method of construction is that it makes it easier to provide maintenance or make repairs later on in the life of the travel trailer. The last piece of the Airstream puzzle comes together in our sewing department, where associates hand cut the fabrics used for upholstery and curtains. The wooden furniture frames come over from the wood shop and are fitted with memory foam cushions. Associates stretch the upholstery over the frames using steam and the upholstery is stapled in place without wrinkles or bulges. Nearby, curtains are cut and assembled by hand and sewn together with industrial sewing machines. It might not be the easiest way, but like the entire Airstream manufacturing process, it requires skilled craftspeople to build these unique pieces and ensure lasting quality for generations of use. After all the pieces are assembled, there's one final check before we send a unit out the door and on its way to a customer. A complete final walkthrough is conducted where a team member carefully performs a series of detailed system tests and visual inspections. Tests include ensuring appliances work correctly, pressure checking the LP gas system, running the furnace and air conditioners, and filling the drain system to check for leaks. On average, inspectors confirm 1,500 points per trailer once all inspections are completed, the interior and exterior are cleaned and a fresh coat of wax is applied. The weight of the unit is recorded and a serial number is inscribed, readying the trailer for transport to our dealer network and then onto a customer who's waiting to take delivery of their dream come true. Well, that is the end of our tour, and I just want to thank you for coming along with me and walking through this entire process. And I think everybody can agree that the Airstream hasn't changed much in 90 years that we've been building it. And as you can see, it's a labor of love. It is built by true artisans, true artists that put this thing together. But what this factory has allowed us to do is to add some tools and some technology to help them build these things even better, even with more quality so that you can enjoy your Airstream for many, many, many years. So whether you're dreaming of one day becoming an Airstreamer and you came along to see how these are built, or you're currently an Airstreamer enjoying many adventures today, we thank you for coming and we hope you can see this in person one day uh, during our factory tour. So thank you very much. <laughs>